Good morning, guys. Some more reviews today. Um, probably doing a lot, actually. Let's see. So we have this card, Izak, Ben Rama, maybe. Depa uh, Depa did, buddy. There's a lot. Hey, man, I like when there's a lot of stuff to do, to be honest. It's, you know, it's just a vibe for me. Um, we're going to use this team. I'm going to play some Division Rivals, because that way I can actually uh, get the Gameplay Objective Guidi card as well. Um, so that'll make sense to do that. Uh, but for now, we have the Abedi Pele card to check out. Uh, this card is 5'9", medium, medium work rates, left-footed, 4-star skills, they 4-star weak foot. Flare traits, he's got speed dribbler, playmaker, technical dribbler, flare traits. So for me personally, guys, I decided to, as of right now, give him the Deadeye Chemistry style, right? This is definitely a card that I do mainly see being played through the middle, but obviously with improvements in the future, um, it would be really nice for you to be able to use them in the side positions as well. Because pace is like really, really important in the side areas. In the middle, it's more about attacking AI, getting into the right areas at the right time to shoot, all that kind of stuff, right? So base card stats for pace is already in a decent area. That with the improvements will be nice. Um, we're giving him a dead eye right now because he definitely needs the shooting improvement since it's in the low 80s, mid 80s area. So the dead eye will be boosting it to be in the 90s area, which I feel like is going to be very important. Passing will be good. Dribbling, uh, we're going to experiment with because he's five foot nine at an average body type. So we have to see what that's going to be like in game. Uh, he's got 84 heading accuracy, stamina at an 86. So yeah, it kind of just suggests that you're going to use him uh, mainly playing through that uh, middle position, right? So um, yeah, taking a look at the differences between these two cards here, twos and threes. Did I review the uh, other other? I don't know if I did hero reviews like in the beginning. I don't know if I did. Honestly, I don't remember. Hard to remember. So it's been a while. Um, okay. So, anyways, um, we'll try him on the three four two one. Play him in the striker position, so we can kind of get some different goal scoring opportunities. Uh, we also have a four three three, which we could totally use too, where we could do it like this. Actually, so we could do it like this. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's go try him out. Oh, we're starting on that for the kickoff, huh? Okay. Sold him. Sold him. Sold him with a Betty Pele. Let's go. Oh, we're, we're popping, boys. We're popping. We're starting off hot. We're gonna, 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 we're gonna keep going hot. You know what I'm saying? I should have just stopped it, but facing upwards so I can make that pass afterwards. It would have been perfect, I think. Tap shot. There it is. A Betty Pele. Ooh. The AI is gonna get there. That's a, that's the thing, right? It's like you 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 do attack against that one guy, but it's always the guy behind, man. Yeah, I gotta I gotta watch out for that run there. Definitely would have had that there for sure. Well, that works. Nice. Yeah, Virgil's gonna have the reach there. It was a good run, though. Decent move from the Kings, but quick thinking defensively. Yeah, situations like that, you may like the, having the pace would be nice, right? Like the base card side, so he's more explosive to go into those areas. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Do they have the guile to open up the defense? Oh, dude, if... Okay, 
if his dribbling felt a little bit more responsive like he definitely has the average body type i'll tell you that right now i did an l1 left stick up if i got on his left foot it's a goal for sure white time shot on that one Works for me. Works for me. Get rocked, mate. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of like based in the middle there. Not really going to come off that well, especially if I don't green it. He doesn't have enough pace. For those types of situations, like that's where you have to like really specifically use him in the, the cam position. Yeah, good try. Couldn't get the timing on it for that type of shot there. Nice. Well done, good chip. Very clean chip too. Nice. Got the double the double shot off there. Sometimes it's funny, you do the green time, but you don't know if it's going to go through the defender. Like, the second time I did it, I was like, I don't know if this is going to work, but I ended up going in. He's going forward well here, not troubling the keeper. He stopped playing for a bit, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to try a long-distance strike here. Well, they might be onto something. That's a pen. Uh, when you get too close to the goalkeeper, like sometimes you want to go for a pass, but you don't know if you should go for the pass. Then you just kind of got to hope that you get a good left stick off or something, you know? I'm going to go down the middle. Yeah, my gut was telling me not to go to the sides, you know? I was like, I was not feeling it. Oh, nice try. That's a super low percentage strike if I were to hit that. 45 away from goal like that. Okay, get, couldn't get the timing on it. His animation choices for shooting, it's, it takes a while, so you have to get used to that. Like, it, it's... You gotta get used to how slow it can be sometimes. Wow, Martinez, what was that? Oh, it's funny. I actually got the small little left stick touch there for the finesse shot. I got a little bit lucky there, but made it work, made it work. There it is. Get him on his left foot. You're good to go. Ah, oh, dude, and I got... You know, it's funny. I got the timing for the left stick, but it just didn't go far enough to, like, the bottom right to get past the goalkeeper. Oh, he saves that. Okay. Better go for the near post. Ah, work the small angles there. Let me see if I can get a shot here with him. I bet he Pele can do this and call him close. His animations just, it takes so long sometimes, man. Ah, oh, I couldn't get the green on that one. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Betty Pele card. So Betty Pele for me is just one of those types of guys where I feel like they just overprice him like crazy. Um, I do feel like he's overpriced 100%. Uh, it's always like this every year. I don't know what it is. Like, there was a point last year 
I forget which card it was. I think it was uh, up until the point, like for me personally, where it had to reach that card where it was the five star skiller one, right? So let me see here. So Abedi Pele, was it this one, the Shapeshifters? Oh, five star, five star Shapeshifters. It might've been that one. What was the other one that he had, Abedi, Abedi Pele? I don't even know if it was this one either. I, I forget though, because last year, it was the same thing for me. I was like, this card, they overpriced him like crazy for what he offers in game, right? It's just one of those types of things. Um, okay, so a few things that you have to talk about, right? So as of right now, it's a card that needs the upgrade. Uh, people have just taught me recently that it is in, I think it's March 17. That's when the games actually start. Um, with a Betty Pele, I actually have to see what team, do they tell you in the actual game which one it is? Let's see, hero profile. Um, two additional... Simon's based on the form of Marseille. Okay, so it does tell you March 17. Okay, so they do they do tell you in the hero profile. Okay, so March 17 for Marseille. I think Marseille can get wins. I think that right now they're in second place, probably. And they obviously play in the League One. So in the League One, there's obviously more chance of getting upgrades. Uh, first and foremost, this card definitely needs upgrades because of the way that it's formatted in certain areas. Um, obviously, with shooting... Uh, you definitely want to be able to improve that on the card, even though he shoots the ball quite well if you get into the high percentage strike angles, but you do have to currently give him a dead eye, right? Um, so team form, let's check it out. So March 17, uh, they play against Rames. I think Rames is the team that's actually doing okay. Isn't it the dude that has, I think they have like that English manager or is it a different manager? I forget. It's the team that Bolligan plays for, I think. Um, okay. So they play against Rams, uh, Montpellier, Lorient. I think Leon is probably the only one. Like, I could see them winning all of these games. So that upgrade for the first one, Club avoids defeating the next six games. I think it's possible, but the Leon game is probably going to be the toughest one, probably. Um, the club wins one game in the next six games. They'll definitely get that. So taking that into consideration, with a dead eye chemistry, so as of right now, right? Uh, base card stats for pace definitely needs to be improved. Uh, this card, you really feel his average body type, right? His average body type... I wish his left stick felt like Correa's left stick, right? It doesn't, though. Correa, like I said, Correa's the only... I think he's... Honestly, I think he's the only card that has crazy left stick while being an average body type. Like, he's the only card. Um, so you definitely feel the average body type on this Abedi Pele card. Uh, you notice it for certain situations, like shooting animation sometimes a little bit slower and stuff. Um, so the way you have to green time, you have to, like, really get used to the card a little bit. Um, the card's not horrible by any means. Obviously, if you pack him, he's going to be a cool card to use regardless, specifically in that cam position for sure, um, because of the way that it's currently formatted. In the future, though, if they do end up improving the card, I feel like you still have you have to massively boost his shooting. So I still feel like you're going to give him a dead eye. What are people giving him? A hawk, a hunter. Yeah, but that's just currently though. A hunter makes sense to boost the pace and the shooting, but if they improve the stats of the card, it won't really make sense to give him that boost, right? Um, because of the way that the pace is being boosted and whatnot, like you really have to hope that with a dead eye in the future, especially with a double upgrade, they'll give him enough pace, right? So maybe like a plus two in acceleration and sprint speed would be great. Um, some people honestly might still give him a hunter if they give a plus two in that general area too, but I still feel like the shooting still needs to be massively improved on this card, right? So. Um, I do feel like he's overpriced, overpriced for sure. It's not a bad card in game. He's actually pretty solid to use, uh, just overpriced. That's what it is with him. Like it's, it's always been the case for me when it comes to FIFA with a Betty Pele. I don't know. It's just one of those things with him. Right. Um, but other than the fact that he's overpriced, if you do end up packing him, uh, as one of your cards, he's going to definitely be pretty solid to use. You just have to work with the left stick sometimes. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's the left stick. And then obviously you kind of have to hope for better pace in the future, uh, so that you can kind of play to the meta of the game a little bit more, right? But his average body type definitely is noticeable on this card for sure. It's one of those types of things. Uh, but if he does get the improvements, it'll be pretty decent. I think shooting being improved would be nice, but it's it's mainly for pace and dribbling. Those two areas, that's where you want to be improved the most for this card for sure. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.